Hi guys, welcome to another bike fixing vlog. So, nobody got back to me, nobody told me what was wrong, how I could get this cassette off. By the way, it's off. I went to the bike shop and got it off like that. So shout out to Mark from Cycle Street. So now we just need to uh, replace this. Ooh. I hope you can see. Okay. Ooh. I'm sorry, it's a bit windy out here. We're on the small camera today. If I, could, if I didn't want the big camera to get blown about. So. Uh. Right, so, like I said before, I've got some spokes from last time, which would be good. So, I need to figure out which way it goes. So... That out one goes under, over. I need to thread it. It's a bit stiff, you see. So I'm gonna cut it there. I'll get it on and then we'll get back on. I'm gonna get some gloves because the bike is filthy. So I'll see you. Right, fam. I concurred to a conclusion, these brand new spokes that I thought would fit this bike is too long. So, with the wheel that I found, well, the wheel off, the wheel that was buckled off the other bike, I took a, I, re, I took a spoke from this one and I put it on this one. And I tightened it up, I've checked it, and it looks quite, it looks okay. It's not rocking as it was, so I'm going to clean up around the cassette. I'll let you watch that. Which spoke was it? That I replaced those. Because it's like a recycled spoke. It's like very hard. To, it was this, this one here that I put in. And it's working fine now. So I'm just going to clean up around this around this uh what's it called cone and clean his cog while it's off so you, you can watch that if you want i'll record it i found the my mum has these gloves in her the cupboard in the uh what is it in the actual sink under the drawer sink she works as a cleaner at Marmaduke's, but sometimes she wears them and sometimes she, she doesn't, so she, I don't know if she's supposed to, but she does, she does take them home and they come in handy. So I'm going to use this 
WD-40 stuff. Just the last round. Get rid of some of the grease. Get my little rag and just clean all the yucky stuff. If you can see, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see. It's not really in focus. Is it in focus? Hang on. Be a little cut. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened there, but I've cleaned all around the cone and everything. I'm just going to put some in, um, some special grease stuff on. Um, it says lithium grease, so I think it should be all right. I don't think I should have it around the actual block bit there. It might cause some problems. So I'm just going to put some around there and put some inside the actual cassette so I've got some gloves so I don't know how many it's that way you know what I'm not going to put this back on I'm just going to leave it to it and put this cassette back on. Now I'm just going to realign it and make sure that's in the centre. So if it's not in the centre then it, you'll cross thread it. So. That's what I got, that's what I sh watched on the video. Uh, it's back on, I think. Yeah, it's back on. So, yeah, that's that bad boy back on. Finally. So I'm going to put the tyre and everything back on. What I might do before I put the tyre on is get it back in its thing and use the rim and see if I have got it true up. Yeah. Uh. It was quite warm earlier, but the temperature seems to have dropped. Uh, don't want to do that mistake like I did the other week. That was quite funny. You've not seen last week's video when I was putting a wheel on. <laughs> I did a right like boo boo. I put the back cog on the, the other side. So, I'm just going to put it on as it is and hopefully, hopefully that the wheel seemed pretty in balance and true to itself so get a corn spanner. I should have shown what it was like before, shouldn't I? And then you would have had a... Well, I think you have actually in another video. Let's have a look. 
it is not too bad that will. I'll uh, do a close up because the other wheel you could tell it was buckled so that's that's not too bad. I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and sort these bricks out and I'll show you at the end when I've got it all back together. I still need to sort the bricks out like I mentioned on this one and this one I'll be taking up to the workshop to get his bottom bracket sorry. So stay tuned to the end. I'll get this bike up and running. Alright, see you know what see you in a bit. Sorry guys. Hi fam guys whatever um viewers sorted it's working okay now so it, it's not too bad so the back brake works and the front brake was all right i've done its chain so hopefully um it should be all right for my brother so there's a t trick of finding old bikes and you know i nearly fixed those bikes up but this wheel was buckled and the spokes i had were too long like i said earlier and i just basically measured the wheels and it was the same size so i just took a spoke off an old wheel and just put it on his because i knew it would be all right so all i need to do is just give it a quick test and that's it so hopefully my brother should be alright and happy with it and yeah some stuff to do on bikes but I'm not going to record it it's just the basics so yeah eventually I got the cassette off well good old Mark from Cycle Street got it off for me because I couldn't get it off it was completely stuck on there so so anyway on that note don't forget to like subscribe and comment We'll see you in the next video. Um, the gloves didn't really stay in one piece either. So, see you later. Bye for now.